Hello YouTube. Um, today the spotlight of the day is Wizard101 Pets Kennel. I actually found out about this page through Matthew Skullbreaker, which you can actually see down here. Um, he put up a, um, he actually shared the page link and um, I got curious and I went ahead and clicked on it and you know I'm having pet issues of my own so I was kind of interested on what was going on there. Now this is a very good page. I recommend anyone who's watching this video or any of my subscribers, pretty much anyone who's having pet troubles to check this out because you're about to be shocked and you know, prepare yourself for what you're about to hear. Now the sole goal of this page is to actually help wizards reach their goal pet. Yes, meaning they will not sit here questioning you on what pet you have. They're not here hatching for their own purposes. They are here to help you. Now, here are some rules that they have here for um, people to abide by. They're very simple. They're, it's not any trouble. Um, when you actually come to the page, you can reach the page on facebook.com slash wizard101petscannel. And... When you come up, the page comes up like this, and of course you have to be signed in, and it, I love the cover, and they are active, meaning they're constantly updating, so you don't feel like you have been abandoned, and the people who have liked the page are also active because they post a lot on there too. Now, let's get in on the rules and the basics. What do you have to do to get um, a hatch appointment? What kind of pets are available? I'm going to move on to that. So now we're going to go ahead and click the notes. And these are some basic, you know, little small rules that you have to follow. First one is you have to give the page a like to request hatching, which should not be a problem because, I mean, honestly, they're providing a service to you at no cost, at no problem. And they're not doing anything that is within their benefit. They're doing things for your benefit. You're the one that wants the pet they're hatching with you and helping you out. So it's not a problem, go ahead, like them, I like them. And um, the second one is, everyone is entitled to one hatch per week. Obvious reasons, they have a lot of people requesting hatches, so it makes sense that they have to give everybody one um, hatch limit per week. Now their hatch days are Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Um, they take Mondays, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays off to replenish their hatching timers and farm for gold. Now, their side note is you do have the option to gift a bro elixir, meaning you don't have to. It is not mandatory. If you are in a rush to hatch and you cannot wait, then you may if you want to. So... If you are in a rush, you have the option of going ahead and gifting them an elixir. Now, let's move on to the next one. They want you to arrive at the exact time and realm given by the administrator to hatch with. So, I mean, come on, guys. You want the pet. You want to hatch with it. Please be on time and be in the correct area. Now, if you fail, um, you have to schedule for another day. Now... Their fifth rule is absolutely no cursing, no foul actions, trolling, or disrespect, and it will not be tolerated. And if you can't follow that rule, they're just simply going to block you from the page, and um, I suspect you won't be able to hatch with them any, anyway. Because, you know, this is a non-drama, kid-friendly zone for all ages. Keep it clean. So, you know, tell your friends about this page. It's a really good page. Um, I mean, come on, who would not love to hatch with a good pet with no strings attached? I mean, that is all up for grabs. Now let's go ahead and, you know, check out the kind of pets that they have available for people to hatch with. Um, now what the administrators do, and I'm going to go over the administrators. If I miss any, um, I'll come back and put an annotation in the video. Um, each administrator owns an album on the page. 
they put their first name and it's titled Available Hatch Pets. Now you have Destiny, Paige, Kimberly, Lindsay, Matt, um, I think that's the one that actually referred me to that page, Reckons, and Coles. So, you know, they're all here, and within these albums, you will be able to find the picture of the pets, their pedigree number, their traits, their current um, level, and, you know, their um, all that good stuff and, you know, stuff that you wouldn't be able to normally find in a hatchery. Now, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the pet I hatched with earlier. I hatched with... Um, the administrator Kimberly earlier and I hatched with her sec I think it's the sec yes yeah, second generation nutcracker and has an overactive um fairy friend and his name is Sir Winston. Now now um you see all his traits there he has spell proof sprightly spell defying, fairy friend, and unicorn. Very helpful. If I can put all those traits, bingo. If not, I can try again next week and then the week after that. So, um, they have a wide range of wonderful pets. I mean, look at the, look at these stats. Where are you going to simply find these stats out of nowhere with no strings attached? It's hard to find. But, you know, they have a lot of high quality pets in here not some random low you know it the, each of them have a benefit to a certain wizard if you're looking for infallible and you just want infallible you're not so crazy about healing and you just want some other things by all means you will find that here if you're crazy about a healing pet by all means you will find that here if you want a good resist pet pvp pet you know questing pet it doesn't matter you will find it here so, um, like I said, they have the PvP pets. Um, there goes the Flamenco, which actually has the Maycast um, Balance Blade and Unicorn. They have lovely pets. Um, they have a Broom Scrab over here with some nice traits. And, you know, as you go back and forth from here and there, you will find wonderful pets. All of them have unique talents. Some of them have the, you know, state-of-the-art column that everyone is actually looking for. And you know what? Um, I just recommend that you guys go check this page out. Like them. If you don't want to hatch, at least like them to give them some support. Because, you know, it's very hard to, you know, take that kind of burden upon yourself and farm constantly for gold and timers and all that kind of stuff just to help people out and you know it's things like that you know that you find rarely in the game nowadays especially with all the scamming going on so that's it you know i just wanted to you know tell you guys about this i actually did a written review on this page on my website jasminemissor.com if you guys don't want to listen to me talk you can go ahead and check it out there i even included some pictures there as well and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.